Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just overwhelmed with the support, um, the growth that my channel is seeing. I'm just, I'm getting my whole YouTube life and I'm thoroughly enjoying every minute of it. So a big thank you to everyone that you know, watches my content that's been commenting, liking, sharing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right. This is a highly requested video. Um, this is a very popular topic. This video is going to be my 10 most complimented fragrances. All right. Now, this is just a mix of everything. You're going to have things for all the seasons, you know, all the moods, <laughs> sexy, fresh. I'm giving you a little bit of everything, okay? But overall, these are just the scents that are compliment monsters. You put this on, expect for people to comment on how amazing you smell, all right? Now, without further ado, let's get into this list. Okay, so the very first one is going to be one that's quite sentimental to me. This is like my first expensive, I would say designer purchase. Before I even really started getting into perfumes, this one was my signature scent for like, it's embarrassing to say, but like five years. <laughs> it's so sad. But anyway, yeah, I had this one bottle and you know what? This bottle garnered me so many compliments. And this is um, Bassier Volé by Cartier. I just love the packaging, the bottle. This bottle is on its last leg. I'm still holding on to it, just more so, like I said, because of sentimental value. <laughs> this juice has gone bad, even though the color, um, you know, doesn't really show that. The top is oxidized, but this will always be standing in my collection okay let me let me tell you that right now but this is a very underrated scent cartier in general but this scent is so so beautiful this has like a single floral and that is lily so you've got lily at the opening the mid and the base and it is so gorgeous this is a very easy to wear powdery elegant beautiful scent. If you've never smelled it, definitely smell it. I mean, you're just going to feel like the most feminine, pulled together, beautiful, classy lady when you put this on. Men definitely love the scent. They compliment. And this is just one that I will be re-upping on this Christmas. This is somebody going to get me this for Christmas. It's on the list. Um, because it's just absolutely stunning. And again, this is um, Bassier Volé by Cartier. Okay, the next one is also a floral, honey, but we switching up the florals and we getting into the rose. This is Delina. Delina, the original. Delina is so pretty, <laughs> but Delina is a beast. Delina is a sillage monster. Delina is going to announce your presence before you get there. Delina will let people know that you were there. I wear this to work and my coworker one day, he called me. He was just like, um, were you just at headquarters? <laughs> like, like 30 minutes ago. Y'all, I hadn't been in that building for 30 minutes. And Delina was still just like tearing up the hallways. I'm like, okay, <laughs> beast mode she is. So don't be fooled by the pretty bottle, but this is probably one of the most feminine, beautiful, you know, complex, but still very wearable scents. This is a great intro to niche scent. Um, this one was one of my first niche, I think this is like the second niche perfume I ever bought, but this is definitely a for lifer. It is just so crowd pleasing. Um, now, you may like the rhubarb note in here, you may not. If you don't like the rhubarb note, definitely look at Delina Exclusive, but the original has my heart. The original is just that girl. I mean, I love it for the rhubarb note and that, like that tartness to it. The way 
the incense comes in um, and it blends with the rose. This is like the most delicious, beautiful rose scent ever made. This is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece scent in my opinion. All right. The third one is also a masterpiece and you know damn well this was going to make the list. Okay. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. This scent is just so many things. It is the most coveted scent, I think, right now. Um, this is very sweet. This is like a spun, slightly burnt sugar. This is saffron. This has some woody elements to it, but it's like it's so airy. There's so much air whipped in <laughs> all that sugar. Um, and it's just such a beautiful fragrance. It is very unique. Um, okay. Siage longevity for, for hours upon hours upon hours. I have to wash this off my clothes when I wear it. So even when you don't smell this, trust me, it's wafting around the room. You don't need a whole bunch of it. I'm an oversprayer. I'm going to still do about 10 of these, okay? <laughs> but don't be like me, okay? Don't choke people out. But compliment magnet, compliment getter, because it's just that. <laughs> Baccarat is that dude, okay? Baccarat Rouge 540. Some prefer the x -ray. I prefer the OG just because to me, it's a little sweeter. To me, it projects more. And I mean, this is like one of my favorite all times. Definitely going to garner you compliments, period. Guys, the next one is Miss Dior by Christian Dior. And this is the 2017 version. Now people, um, you know, get pissed off that they change it up every five years. But I wasn't impressed with the new one that they just launched in 2021. I've read the notes on the one, I guess that, you know, was um, around in 2012, but looking at that lineup, the patchouli probably would have just been too much for me. This one is my girl. This is my boo. This one gives me so many compliments. Just the other week, we were um, at the urgent care. I had to take my daughter to, to the doctor um, and the nurse came in the room and she just, you know, when they get the screw face, like that's when it's good. <laughs> when somebody screw up their face to ask you, what are you wearing? Like, what are you wearing? <laughs> that's the ultimate compliment in my opinion. Okay. That's what I know is good. And I was just like, oh, Miss Dior, you know, Christian Dior, Miss Dior 2017. And she was like, oh. It smells so good. And I, you know, I had on probably about 20 sprays of it. So when she walked in, honey, Mr. Yours, all she was able to get. Okay. That is all she was able to get. And it's just so, so pretty. It is so good. If you can get your hands on a bottle, there are still so many in circulation. Um, try to get it off McCarty where, you know, you can buy secondhand, but it, you're going to be protected. I don't know if there's any left on the discounter websites, but get your hand on this if you don't have it. To me, this over Coco Mademoiselle. I'm not a Coco Mad girl. I'm a Miss Dior girl, okay? And then I already got the big 3.4 ounce backup bottle because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous floral shippery and you can't go wrong. You People will compliment you when you wear this scent. Okay, now the next one, <laughs> y'all, the dent, this bottle is relatively new to my collection, but this is kind of ridiculous. Like, the dent is huge. This is Guerlain Spiritueuse de Bolivani, and let me tell you, this is perfection. This, I felt like it doesn't have um, a lot of, projection but people will smell this on you okay when they come into your space they're going to tell you that you smell like vanilla ice cream you put this on it's going to be very incense -y. it's going to be heavy on the vanilla it's going to be woody but once it gets mixed in with the air and it wafts around 
something about that, it just translates differently once it reaches someone else's nose. Um, when I smell this on my daughter, it smells differently from what I pick up when I'm, you know, doing this number here, smelling it directly on my skin up close. This breaks down to this just beautiful, dense, but not heavy, if that makes sense. Um, incense slightly spicy, heavy vanilla fragrance. Okay, it's vanilla heavy, not heavy vanilla, vanilla heavy. <laughs> Is what I'm trying to say. And you're going to smell like just a bowl of vanilla bean ice cream. That's what you're going to smell like. It's sexy, but you can definitely wear this during the day. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous vanilla scent. Some people's holy grail uh, vanilla, but this is, I'm telling you, Guerlain, they do vanilla like nobody else. They really, really do. Um, and I wish that they had a... I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need another bottle. By the end of the year, this is gonna be gone. This is gonna be gone because I'm actually trying to conserve the damn thing. <laughs> and it's still like the dent is still quite huge. Now, staying with this, let me tell you what I layer this with when I'm really trying to hit them. Okay. This separately is a compliment monster. Okay. And this is Lancome's La Nuit Treasure à la Folie. But let me tell you, when you pair these together, you will stop the world. You're going to stop the world and everybody is going to be complimenting you. This people go crazy over. This will garner you so many compliments just by itself. This has a very similar profile, scent profile to this one. But this is, oh my God. Mm, it is so addictive. It is so freaking addictive. It's beautiful. This is very vanilla heavy. It's in incense. It is benzoin. It's got these beautiful florals that just really shine, but they don't take over the scent. So you're getting more vanilla incense spice over, you know, over the florals, which is what I love so much about it. And then it's sweet. It's a little sweeter than the Guerlain. And so it's just so classy, so feminine, so sexy. Just, this is, I'm gonna need a bigger bottle. This is, what is this? 2.5. I'm gonna need a, do they have them at 3.4? I don't think they do. They need to, because I need another one. This has got quite a dent in it already. I don't know if you can see that, but... When I tell you I flew through that decant, <laughs> flew through that decant. Um, okay, that's probably a better picture of what's left. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I'm already like, oh my gosh. I can't wait to re-up on this. I'm gonna need a backup. Like already, because you know these designers, honey, they, they discontinue the best of the fragrances. And this is probably like my top link home. Over Oud Bouquet. Don't shoot me in the foot. I said what I said. I love this scent. I treasure <laughs> this scent. And again, that is Lancome's uh, La Nuit Treasure à la Folie. It is that girl. Okay. The next one is a by Killian. And this is Beautiful Love Don't Be Shy. Everyone knows that this is rumored to be and confirmed by Jackie Ina. <laughs> Rihanna's signature scent. And... <sighs> honey <laughs> this is orange blossom this is neroli this is marshmallow i feel bad for people that do not like this scent or, or that can't make the scent work for them because it works for me and it works in it rakes in the compliments this is a compliment getter men love this scent men love this scent on a woman okay very 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 sweet some people find it too sweet, but honey, I love the killing. Don't get shy with the sweetness, okay? <laughs> I just absolutely adore this scent. It is scrumptious, warm, cozy, but at the same time, it's fresh. Like some people say they can't do this in the summer. I do this year round. I'm that girl that 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 wears this year round. I feel like the reformulated version. It's a little bit better suited to wear in the spring and uh, summer. I have both bottles now. So the black bottle is going to be my fall winter love. Don't be shy. 
and the white one is going to be my spring summer compliment get her because it is so divine so delicious and you've got to get it on your nose if you've never smelled it what the heck are you waiting for like this is very popular the hype is justified okay we all want to smell like rihanna duh Hey, let's 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 switch tunes for a second. This is unisex, but honey, don't let that scare you away. This is a pineapple bomb. This is Lamar by Kajal. This is so opulent. This is a pineapple bomb met with some intense, like woody notes. And when I tell you this, just automatically takes me to Dubai on a yacht, okay? I'm, I'm standing out there at the marina and I'm just like taking it all in. The wind is in my locks <laughs> and pineapple is just filling up the scene, honey. Like this is what this is. This is quite beastly. Um, it is pineapple, so definitely more of a uh, spring summer scent but I cannot wait to actually add the hob to my collection um next summer because Lamar is amazing it is a beautiful scent guys guys sexy okay super 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 sexy on a man you have got to try it and just 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 see just Set your clock to how long it's going to take. It won't take long. As soon as you step out the door, a woman is going to compliment you on how good you smell when you're wearing Lamar, fella. So get your nose on it. Get a sample. Um, I think they have samples at Scent Split for this one because I sampled it and I flew through the five mils so lightning fast, like within a week. That's why I automatically just got the full bottle. Wonderful fragrance and definitely a compliment getter. Okay, staying in tune with the summer vibe we just left, <laughs> we're going to do another amazing, amazing summer scent. Um, spring, this actually can take you in the fall as well, just because this is a very complex scent. And I'm talking about Tibet by Tiziana Terenzi. This is so sentimental to me as well, because this was my very first niche purchase and when I say that this is a sillage monster listen to me Tibet is going to stay in your clothes after you wash it so you may have to put it on the double rinse okay the double wash cycle I don't know but it's just that strong I don't know what they put in these most summer scents are not beast mode scents this one however beastly okay they're going to smell you from across the room. When you leave, they're still going to smell you. This is peach. This is cotton candy. This is caramel. This is warm sand. I mean, my mouth is watering literally as I describe this because it is just that juicy. It is just that delectable. It is just that divine. This is a sense literally I mean it's like no other you have not smelled anything like Tibet and you never will okay unless Paolo Terenzi makes it for us because such a unique scent very sweet but is this is unisex this is unisex when I first smelled this I actually thought it leaned a little masculine but now my nose interprets is completely different this leans a little bit more feminine to me because it's so sweet but men <laughs> don't shy away. <laughs> Do not shy away. Definitely test this because it's very expensive. But when I tell you worth every red cent, save your coins, get you a Tiziana Terenzi in your collection because they are just worth it. These are all x -rates, so they last forever. But normally x are a little close to the skin. This one projects like no other. Huge compliment magnet, huge compliment getter because it is a divine beast. This is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And I just, hurry up summer, okay? I'm, I'm fall, everybody, we know y'all love fall, but I'm ready for summer just so I can wear this thing out again.
All right, you guys. The next one is a tuberose spicy, beautifully blended designer fragrance. And I'm talking about Lantra D. Rouge, this, I don't have any of the original. I don't have the other flankers. This is the only Lantra D I have because this is the only one that I need. This is tuberose. This is ginger. This is sandalwood. It's got a little patchouli in it at the base just to, just to ground it. Like this scent is so addictive and I, I still can't figure out why. Like the way they blended it, it's not a scary tube rose. It's not one that's gonna smell old or overly floral. This is just so stunning and even though I haven't had it that long in my collection, it garners a lot of compliments. Um, it lasts, it's got great sillage and longevity, especially for designer fragrance. It just, it just, just get your nose on it. If you haven't smelled it, get your nose on it because this one is just absolutely divine. It is creamy. It's not overly spicy. It's got ginger, but let me tell you, when this starts to dry down, it just creates the most amazing creamy tuberose sandalwood scent. That is what you're gonna get. You're going to get so much creaminess from the sandalwood. The tuberose is a buttery tuberose. Um, I don't get the bubblegum vibes from this one, which I which I actually appreciate because. Mm, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It is um, very unique tuberose to me, um, just as Rouge Melikite is. This one is also as well. So don't sleep on this one, okay? Definitely try it out. Leanne Shredi Rouge by Givenchy. Okay, you guys. And the next one is my baby. This is Tehota by Endo. This is like my favorite vanilla scent. This is very sweet. This is super heavy vanilla. I think it's like three types of vanilla in here. It's ridiculous how much vanilla is in it. So if you're a vanilla lover, you have to sample this one. They have samples at Lucky Scent, if I'm not mistaken, um, and Scent Split. So either one of those, you should be able to get a sample to test it. But I actually can't believe this wasn't Love It First Sniff for me. Ugh. I don't know what was going on in my life at that point and going on with my nose, but I'm obsessed, <laughs> absolutely obsessed with Tahota because it's the most delicious vanilla I've ever smelled. Um, this scent, uh, let me tell you, you don't think it's projecting that much, but let, let some wind waft around and, and throw that scent up somebody's nose. Oh my goodness. This lady was walking behind me and the wind blew past me and it struck her, okay? The, the Tehota struck her and she yelled at me. She was like, oh my God, you smell amazing. <laughs> this is at the end of my work day, you guys. So I'm thinking Tehota's, you know, she's on my clothes. Maybe she's on my skin. I don't know. This is like 10 hours later. This lady stopped me. She was like, wait, wait a minute. What are you wearing? It smells, she complimented me four times. I don't know this lady, okay? We're just in passing. She's walking in a direction that I'm walking and she was just, she was blown away, okay? This is a vanilla, just beautiful vanilla, okay? And it's going to get you compliments. This is, mm, it's got woods, okay? But the star of the show is the vanilla. And it's such a, like a sweet in front vanilla. Like it, it's just, it's hard. You just got to smell it. You just got to smell it because my description is never going to do it justice. It's very, like I said, very sweet. It is, um, it's got a little bit of musk to it. It's got, um, you know, very, very light woods, just enough to, to give it some depth, but this is the nose of, you know, Maison Francis Cartagena, one of my favorite noses. And it's a stunning, stellar, beautiful fragrance that is going to garner you tons of compliments. All right, you guys. So that is my 10 most complimented fragrances. Definitely let me know below what are yours, okay? I'm very curious to find out 
who will stop you in the street, <laughs> letting you know how good you smell. Um, I just, all of these that I just, I mean, these are my babies right here. And I probably get even more compliments on them because I wear them so much. I love them. And people always let me know how good I smell when I have them on. Maybe that is why I wear them so much. I don't know. But absolutely beautiful fragrances. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below in case you do decide to buy. They that are is our video for today. What you think?